Hello and welcome back guys to our channel. So on our previous video, we already created a functionality for create and refresh. So now we will do the functionality for edit, delete, and search. Before we can edit a particular record, so we need to find out first the ID of that particular record so we will create a function for that to get the id which is create a private now get okay so we will check if mg select the rows and count is greater than so meaning if there's any selected record from our grid okay we also know customer ID plus zero and here customer ID is equal to okay <coughs> selected rows and we will select get the first one which is zero then cells and then we will find it to customer right. so but we need to convert this to a long to 64 ok afterwards we need to return it get right. so why do we need the function like this because this one we will use it for edit and delete because for edit we need also the customer id and for delete we also need the customer id so we don't need to repeat this code upon the same functionality so here we just do long customer id is equals to get id so if customer id is greater than 0 then we can copy our from here so but this time we will pass the customer id okay because from our frm customer ae it can also accept a customer id so now let's modify our customer ee inside the code so here we'll check from here if customer id is greater than zero then let's just create a function to do target load data void okay we will call this function here a data table data equals to functions data table select asterisk from DBL customer where customer ID is plus two plus and we will get this customer ID. So here we will just select the data of customer table. We will we'll find the customer ID that we pass to the FRM customer. ID. So if data later on when count is greater than zero then we will assign it the data of this record to our text boxes so in text plus data Yeah. I don't know 
सब देख सकते हैं This will be our. This code will no longer be enabled, so it will not be editable for the user. So all the things that they can edit so only the first name and the last name, contact number, and email. Okay. So next thing that we need to modify is the like, functionality. So because here it's only for insert, so now we need to do an update. So if customer ID is greater than zero and we need to modify the SQL SQL sequence to update and update EBL customer that where customer ID equals to plus customer ID so set was the first name yeah I mm. so we'll just use the code also here we we'll also have the same oops here we go I forgot the code Let's copy this, change the one, this for the middle name, last name, contact number, and Oops. it's double. The first name, change the middle name, last name, contact number, and email. So this one, this is two, so this is three, four, and then five. Okay, so same thing here, we reuse this file format, then pass the values of our text box, and then we do the update. So let's try to edit the record. Let's add some breakpoint here. It is inserted here properly. 
So now let's try to implement the delete functionality. Delete. And we do the same thing here. But we don't need this. But here we add a letter message box. button, message box buttons, yes, no, message box icon, it's question, then let's do that so it's, if it's yes, okay. yes, then we do the delete, okay. from where customer id customer plus customer id then on the functions point execute skill so if it's successful then we also do the reload We can delete a record. I would say we do want to delete this. Click delete. As you can see, our message box shows you about to delete selected record. Do you wish to continue? Click no. So nothing happened. Let's try to delete again. You can click yes. So let's scroll down. So as you can see, the record was successfully deleted. Now let's add the functionality for our search. Okay, so we will create a private void search. Okay, so MG customer data source data table default. View row filter points to field set code like mission rocket zero one but then we pass the XP search point text. Okay, so what it is doing? So it will just search for the code that is have the same value that contains the text that we entered on our txt search text box. Okay. So we'll just do starts with okay so this means starts with so for example we are 30 it will search all the code or uh, maybe search just the first name first name that starts with d and if we type de so it will search for the text that starts with de okay so now we add a functional for and therefore the still search text change 
class then we just call the search so let's try it out search D you see it is filtering successfully okay but it is currently filtering only first name so let's add the functionality for last name also or last name and then we just copy this or middle name and then we can also add our code so, okay the users also want to search for Try it out. Press, press. Okay. First name, last name, middle name. Zero, zero, zero. Eight. Working. Okay. One, nine. But working. Okay. Fresh for eight. That's young. Okay. So basically, we already managed to create the functionality for create, edit, delete, refresh, and search. But we still miss a lot of things with the when we add the record. We didn't check if it's duplicate already. So maybe we can do it on our next video. So hopefully, you learned something from here. And see you on my next video. Just click share, like, and subscribe to this channel. Thanks a lot. Bye.